seven months pregnant, Leslie Bell had to drive herself out of paradise, the town where she grew up, where she planned to raise her own child, burning down behind her. Paradise means everything to me. All my friends, my family growing up there, I know nothing else. She's staying in a motel in Vacaville with her husband, Brian. They've got too many animals to keep in there. Some of them are holed up in their truck outside. They're gonna have to improvise for a while. Their house burned down. I, I, I believe in my heart it could have been avoided. I really do. I, and I think the, that down the road real soon here, we're gonna get the answers that everybody wants, you know? They're among the first to join a lawsuit against PG&E. The official cause of this fire hasn't been determined yet, but the power company did report a problem with one of its high voltage lines around the time and place that the campfire started. The dispatcher who sent the first crews to that fire warned them. I'm looking across under the high tension power line, there's a possible power line hazard. She told them over the radio that the person who called the fire in saw lines down. PG&E is asking for patience, but the company did warn its investors that it doesn't have enough insurance to pay for all this damage if it's found liable. At another motel just down the street, you'll find Randy Parkerson and his mom Irene. Yeah. They don't have much more right than here. their so pets just... and their lives. House after house after house was in flames. Do you think you were going to die on one? Yeah, we thought yeah. we were going to die. Yeah, I was praying, God, please get us through this. This was their home in paradise. Here's what's left of it now. The day before the fire, they say, a PG&E worker stopped by. And he says, well, we came to tell you that your power's probably gonna be turned off tomorrow. I said, why? And he, he kind of chuckled. And he says, well, maybe due to the high winds, and maybe not. Everyone around Paradise heard those warnings to be ready for an outage. Now, they wonder why the power never got turned off. But the story's not quite that simple. When PG&E says it might turn off the power for safety, they mean neighborhood power lines, the kind on wooden poles near homes. Those big transmission lines on those high steel towers, those connect entire regions. PG&E told us they only shut those down during active emergencies, not as a safety precaution, because of the, quote, potential to impact millions of people and create larger system stability issues for the grid. The lawyers suing PG&E say they're most interested in learning everything they can about that line and how ready it was for the high winds we had on the day this fire started. Be looking into specific to this line what kind of maintenance was done and what kind of maintenance was should have been done that was not done. PG&E says, quote, it's important to remember that the cause of the campfire has not yet been determined. No matter the cause, the conditions that day were horrible. Within minutes on the scene, the first crews warned this one could be big and started to ask for evacuations. Brandon Ritterman, ABC 10 News.